Hello people. It is me, Sir Gamer247. Um I've been thinking a lot lately. And I decided to do this commentary because there was only one that I like to Well there's a few things I like to discuss about. You know, I was watching a movie that was um that came from a TV show. And you know, I thought, how come they don't add some of these movie actors into TVs and TV actors to like maybe some movies? But I came to an understanding that they probably might have a preference, or it's just that you know it didn't they didn't really want it to work out for them. I mean, there was some you know some great actors and actresses that you know. That started off in movies but ended up on TV or you know started off on TV and then ended up in movies I mean you know but you know I only know there's only two types I know I'm kind of going to the selective but there's always the movie type celebrities and the TV type celebrities each one to their own um, you know, kind of, there are some that does a transitional of both. You know, that's pretty much understandable. I mean, some people want to be somewhere where they stay on screen for such a long time, and then there's ones that want to be seen on maybe the larger screen or just to be in just that one time movie and then just move on to the next. They like something short term, nothing long term. You know, like the action movies or comedy movies. They never last that long, and I mean, some movies they do, some you know, and some movies don't. But um, you know, there are some great actors that and actresses out there that does great, start in TV shows and you know just do little episodes here and there, and you know then just go back to movies. Um. I would say one of the greatest <laughs> actresses, well, I mean, there's two that I like. And, uh, you know, they're, they're great actresses. You know, one is Kat Dennings. I mean, she was in that movie, The 40 Year Old Virgin. She played as the daughter. And now she plays in a TV show called Two Broke Girls. She plays as Max. And then there's. The action packed Mila Jovovich. Her, I, I don't know her where she got her start from. Cause I mean, for me, I only saw her in the Fifth Element, and she was great there. Then she moved on. Now she's in the Resident Evil series, still making them. That I know. And uh, you know, they were great act actresses. You know, one was in the comedy. One, the other one's in action packed. Looked great. Nice ladies. Um, you know, I kind of sometimes wonder, you know, Resident Evil, they could still do series, but, you know, maybe movie-wise, going one after the other, but only ending towards a certain point, because, you know, there has to be a time when it has to end. You know, if you just try to go forward an extra mile, you know, you can be pushing it, like, um, like in the video game series. You know, they always try to do zombie after zombie after zombie, and, you know, it can get a little boring, except, you know, until they reach the fourth one, they decide to reinvent it, making it in towards a plague, but in that game, they call it Las Plagas, and the fifth one, they continued after the fourth one, but, you know, it kind of went downhill from there. Maybe the sixth one would be better, I don't know, um, but, you know, yeah. I don't know why. <laughs> kind of felt like I had to say something about it. But of course, most of you going to think opinions don't matter. I mean, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. You know, opinions are opinions. Everyone has their own. But yet, you will listen to it because you want to know what they had to say. And it's either up to you to counteract it or agree with it. I guess that's it. See you next time, Facebook.